In this video, I will teach you how to streak for isolation. As always, start by washing your hands and wiping down your work area. In a previous activity, you spread some baker's yeast on a PDA plate. This single-celled fungus produces white colonies on the surface of PDA. On the bottom of the plate that you are picking a colony up from, circle the colony you want to restreak. This is not required, but if you have a lot of colonies, it makes it easier to pick one up. Label a fresh PDA plate. The scientific name of baker's yeast is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, but you may just write baker's yeast or yeast. I recommend drawing three helper lines at the bottom of the PDA plate. Again, this is not required, but if you are new to streaking for isolation, it will be helpful. The three lines divide the plate into four areas. Three narrow strips along the edge of the medium and one large area in the center. Now turn both your plates right side up. Take out an inoculation loop from your pack. The inoculation loops are blue and have a pointed side, which is where you will hold the loop, and a rounded end, which you will use to pick up the colony. The inoculation loops are rolled up in plastic so that you can unroll them one at a time without contaminating the other loops. Open the plate with the colonies just the crack, enough to stick the loop in and touch the colony. Because you circled it, you can just aim for the center of the circle. It is not necessary to scrape or dig the loop in. Just the briefest touch is enough. Remember that microbes are, by definition, microscopically small. If you can see the microbes on your loop, you have too many. Now, turn the new plate around so that you can easily access area number one with the loop. Hold the loop with your dominant hand and the lid with your non-dominant hand, opening the lid just enough to stick the loop in. Hold the loop flat and put it on the far edge of the first area. Now draw three lines all the way to the other end. In order to clean excess microbes off the loop end, I like to stick the loop in the medium in an area where I have not put any microbes yet. And I do that after every streak. Then, starting where I finished drawing the three lines, I now draw three lines into area two, effectively pulling the microbes from the first area over into the second area. Clean the loop again by digging it along the edge of the plate in area 3. Turn the plate around so you can get easy access to area 3. Start at the end of the streaks in area 2 and draw 3 lines with the loop all the way to the end of area 3. Clean the loop again. Now for the last step, start at the end of the streaks in area 3, draw 3 lines into area 4, and at the third line, Keep zigzagging back and forth, filling up the rest of the plate. It is important that the lines in areas 1, 2, and 3 stay on the outside of the helper lines you drew on the plate, and that area 4 stays on the inside. The purpose is to have less and less microbes in each area so that you can obtain single colonies in the center of the plate. If you watch videos online, you will find different techniques for streaking for isolation. This is the one that I use and teach to my students. The biggest mistakes students make when they do this for the first time are picking up more microbes with every streak or picking up too many to begin with. Avoid that by just touching the colonies when you first pick up and do not return to the original plate to pick up more after every streak. Incubate your plate in the warmest place available to you measuring the temperature with the provided thermometer 15 minutes after you put the plate there and the next day. If you do not have single colonies the next day, incubate for an extra day and write down the temperature again at the end. 